If you guys are looking for super cheap, fast, and reliable Madden 22 Ultimate Team coins, look no further than my sponsor, MuttReserve.com. They're super awesome to work with, and they have 24-7 support. Head over to MuttReserve.com and use code Poodle at checkout for 15% off your order. What's going on, everybody? It's Poodle back with another Madden Ultimate Team video, guys. And today, we got two new Legends in-game. We have Legend Saturday going on, guys. Now, initially, these names didn't seem as exciting. But upon further review of looking at some of the stats in these cards, they're going to be some pretty good cards, quite honestly. And I'm actually pretty excited to get these cards, or at least one of the two. Um... Especially because one was a, uh, was a giant in the past, so that's going to be pretty good for me, you know, in terms of my... I have, like, a giant team going on with Brandon Marshall, uh, Danny Dimes, Saquon Barkley, and I know I'm missing one right now, but I, I have quite a few at this, at this at this juncture. But moving forward, guys, if you guys need to the channel, hit that subscribe button, turn that noti bell, give this video a big thumbs up, as always. If you haven't already, head on down below and turn on that noti bell. If you guys want to be shouted out on the Poodle Squad, like the video, turn on that noti bell, subscribe, and comment down below, Poodle Squad. Uh, today's shout out goes out to Travis Hall. Shout out to you, man, for being a part of the Poodle Squad. And yeah, let's get into this. We have a few things to go over. So we're heading over to sets, right? That, if you guys ever want to know what Legends came out, just head over to sets. Sometimes it won't be up on the block yet, so if you wait for that, it could take a bit longer. Go over to players, and you will see we have Warren Sapp and Larry Sanka. Now, Larry Sanka, you may be like, oh, fullback and defensive tackle. First off, Warren Sapp's really good. And Larry Sanka is really good as well for a fullback. Like, you're going to see, he actually could, he could start at running back for you, which is pretty crazy. Now... They are 90 overalls once again, but this week they will come with LTD 91 overalls, which we did not get last year, uh, last week. So that will be their boss legend. So we will be getting the first two LTDs of Madden 22. Uh, so that is pretty exciting. But moving on over, guys. Remember to be doing your tokens or the solo so you can get your exchange tokens. We were at eight already, plus today is two more. So that's 10 total tokens. If they're going to be doing two a week, that means that'll be one week, two week, three weeks, four weeks, five weeks, six weeks, seven weeks, eight weeks, nine weeks, 10 weeks, 12 weeks. Uh, 13 weeks, 14 weeks, 15 weeks, 16 weeks, 17 weeks. Sorry, I blanked for a second because I, I thought I, I thought I double counted one week. 17 weeks. So 17 weeks from today, if that's right, leaves us with about four months. So that leaves us around right after Christmas is when we should be seeing these cards, like for uh, beginning of January. So that's not horrible. So take that for what it is. Let's head over to the packs, see if there's any new, you know, any differential in legend packs, which I doubt it. But, uh, Will I be opening packs today? No, I will not. Personally, I mean, that bundle actually isn't horrible. I mean, you know, I don't, have to, I don't have to spend the whole thing there. I mean, I have this one or that one. But in my personal opinion, these legends are good. But I'm going to pull my next bundle for the Randy, the Randy Dion, Lawrence Taylor bundle, or one some crazy new legend that we get, you know, or some new giant legend. That's when I'll probably rip my bundle personally, or the next 91s, you know, like the first 91s in the game, that's uh, base legends, right? So the solos are here. Make sure you are doing them so you can keep collecting your stars for the Cam Chancellor. Also, guys, something I do want to point out, if you go to Milestones, at 10 stars, we do get the Legends Milestones, which will be today. We get Legends Strategy Item on Offense and Defense. I wonder if these will give speed to all Legends. If that's the case, guys, they're really making it clear this year that they want to see if they can boost a bunch of players individually, which would be cool because right now, I have the Superstar MVP one in there. I would love to have a Legends one as well because I have Darrell Revis, I have Brandon Marshall, I have Ed Reed, and I do have um, Michael Strand. So if I can get plus one speed and all of them, I won't even power them up. But I don't know. That's what I want to know, right? Can someone confirm this for me? I haven't tried it yet. Zerk assume that it doesn't work on powered up items. Primarily, this is what we discussed, is because technically a powered up item is a powered up item. You kind of lose the rarity of whatever it is, right? That's our assumption. So that would mean that if you... So it's kind of like a way of... Strategy items essentially have replaced powering up in certain instances. Like sometimes you power up just for the plus one speed, but you can just use these items instead, which I actually kind of prefer. Now, the only reason you wouldn't do this if you want to get their abilities. So this may, I actually really like that they're doing this. If that's the reason they did it, that's very generous of them. So like for me, I didn't want to power up Brandon Marshall. Um, Cause you have to get abilities, right? I didn't want to power up Brandon Marshall. And I didn't want to power up who, who, uh, Michael Strahan, right? But I do want their plus one speeds. But then I did want to power up Darrell Reeves and Ed Reed for their speed. So then in their cases, I would get them, right? Same thing with Saquon Barkley. I didn't want to power him up because I lose his abilities, but now they gave me a strategy card that gives it to him. The problem is you're wasting a strategy card spot on technically one player, so you probably want to get a team of multiple players there. But that's enough of that. Let's go check out the new legends. Make sure you do play your solos, though. You do not want to miss out on them. Um, let's head on over to the auction block. Let's see if they are live. They should be live at this point, or at least up. And if they're not, make rights are coming. You guys know the deal with that. Although there is no in-game messaging yet, so technically that also is another thing that they like to say as well. I wonder if the LTDs have been pulled already. I mean, you know, these things, the first few weeks, the LTDs get pulled like crazy. Remember, guys, Legend Saturday is a great sniping day. If you guys want to pick up some Legends and get them for cheap, Legend Saturday, you go ahead, you pick them up as they get dropped. So you see here we got Warren Sapp. Let's look at Larry Sanka first. I'm super excited for this card. 
86 speed, 87 strength, 89 awareness, 89 carrying, 89 run blocking, 89 lead block, and 90 impact blocking. Now I'm gonna head over. I'm sure you use LTD so you can get a better idea of what it is. Because here's the thing. Remember the LTDs are plus one, uh, plus one everything, right? So this is the Larry Zonka, really cool card art. It's an old, old card, but that's a really cool card art. LTD, you can see it in the corner. My face cam's covering it. So let me take this off for a second. So you guys can see. Bottom right, LTD. That's what it'll be looking like this year. So. He gets a 90 run blocking threshold, 90 lead blocking threshold, which makes him, and 91 impact blocking, which makes him one of the best pass, oh, like makes him one of the best blockers in the game, right? 90 carrying, 71 catching, 87 speed, 88 strength. You give him a, you give him a strategy card, he will be getting like 88 speed. That makes him just as good as like just about Saquon Barkley. Pa He's going to be a better power back than most people in the game, right? Let's see what his power is. He gets 88 stiff arm. 92 trucking. Guys, he's going to be probably the best power back in the game. Blows away Derrick Henry for the most part. 90 carrying. Great run block. He's gonna be he's, he's amazing. Like this is actually a usable card. I really like the, this 91 break tackle. He's an insane power back. You guys get him and Saquon going together. Like Saquon could be your you know your outside zone, your inside zone back. We get Larry Zonka on those dives and power runs, or on the goal line on fullback dives. He's gonna be unstoppable. Good card. I like this card. You don't even need the speed like that. You just really need the power and the run blocking. And then you could have him lead blocking for you as well. He's gonna be he's gonna be throwing people to the ground. I like this Larry Zonka card a lot. And apparently he goes on a Giants theme team, which I actually didn't know until um so yesterday then we got warren sap warren sap defensive tackle for the buccaneers ltd 71 speed of course he's gonna be slow he's a defensive tackle 88 excel though is really good 89 strength 89 tackle 88 play rec but what, he, what sells me here is the 91 blocks 92 power move again the reason i like him is because although speed's low he's a defensive tackle but you will be getting a 91 and 92 uh power move 91 blocks 92 power move which makes him threshold as well as he can maybe even get the finesse move if you get the right strategy card in him and the tackle He's going to be a threshold guy for quite a while, which is really what I like about him. He's going to be like, I, I like cards that last, or I don't want to buy a new card that has like 88 across the boards because then it's like, he's going to get phased out quickly. You get a guy with 90s, he's going to be all threshold for quite a while or for the rest of the game. So you can actually just leave him there as your one and then defensive tackle too for quite a while and have no problem with him. Now, how much do these cards go for? I mean, I think Larry Zonka might actually be a lot for a little bit. I mean, he's a fullback, so I'm not sure. But stat-wise, he's really good. He's 90 overall. I think Warren Sapp and Larry Zonka will be probably right around this area right here. And Larry Zonka could go one of two ways. He'll either be like 250 and be cheaper than everyone else because he's a fullback. Or he'll be super expensive because he's like the most dominant back in the game right now. I just don't know. This can go one of two ways, quite honestly. Um, and then, it's like I said, lower legends should be going down in price, as you will see. I mean, just, just for today, once legend packs start ripping up, a few of them, you'll get some good snipes and the price will go back to normal. What's weird is that the market looks super expensive, by the way, today, guys. Like, I've noticed that. Michael Strahan, Jamar Chase, Edry. People have went up in price a little bit. I think people in the lower end went up in price. Like, you know, Michael Strahan was probably too cheap. I mean, that made sense. Um, Jamar Chase was the fast guy in the game. A lot of prices are changing. So, guys, I would play around with the market today. See what you could sell for overpriced stuff. Buy for some underpriced stuff. I'm pretty much right. Uh, that wraps up the video. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy. Make sure to play your Legend Solo to find out what that item was. It's pretty interesting to me, honestly. That's going to be an interesting item uh if it's speed that's really cool but yeah enjoy the rest of your day if you guys do need coins to pick up any of these legends head on over to mutt reserve down below and always use code poodle 15 percent off your order take advantage of it pick up some coins build that god squad and of course if you guys want to be shout out on the poodle squad all you got to do is like the video comment down below the poodle squad and turn on that noti bell thank you guys so much for watching enjoy the rest of your day i'm out peace